ancestral covenant are covenants that have been taken or, or there is an argument between two people. Listen. There are, there are arguments between two people. You know, during the olden days, there were the, our, our grandfathers, grandmothers, they were worshipping idols or deities. Mm. They were worshipping idols or deities. Mm. This is the difference between a God that we worship today and their God. Listen, anytime they go before the court, this God let them swear an oath. And the oath that they swear, either they use blood to seal it. Listen very careful. They use blood to seal it mm. or something pressure to seal the covenant mm. to seal the covenant mm. and listen we can see the same thing going on today yeah. see those who they, they say the occultists uh -huh. or those who go to the first mm -hmm. no, see bible says the enemy came for two things uh -huh. for three things to kill destroy and to steal yeah. uh -huh. so whenever these people go to them to the, these idols, to these deities, what they do is that they let them swear an oath. Mm. And the oath that they swear, they seal it with blood. Mm. That means that when they are not there, mm. that covenant will continue. Mm -hmm. That is why you see these occults, when they, they go in, even money they can give it to their mother or their servants. Yes. They will be flourishing, but they are servants that people will be suffering mm -hmm. because they ought and that they have they have sworn yeah. sworn or with the deities or the idols and fill it with something mm -hmm. if they unfortunate if they are they they, they 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 are not able to do or they violate it yeah. it will bring a case mm -hmm. and that case can never see that is why our God is so faithful faithful it is important we come to Jehovah. Mm -hmm. Many are suffering because of that grand old grandfather, his mm -hmm. his oath that he went through and, and sworn mm -hmm. years back. And then because he did not he did not think about me and you. Yes. Because of his work. Yes. I remember somebody was telling me that there was this rich cocoa craft in a village. Mm -hmm. All the money that he was having. None of his children were able to enjoy it, mm -hmm. but he was giving it to outsiders. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the covenant and the blood that he was, the old that he said, if he don't know and give it to his children, mm -hmm. that would be the end. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that when they die, because they are not there to continue the sacrifice, they, that becomes what? Something that the gods, because they don't have mercy. Because they know that tomorrow you will not die, mm. but they will be able to take advantage and continue to destroy your family mm. or continue to do something against your family. Yes. They will con they convince you and you shall oh, go. Jesus. And you see that after yes. dying and go, mm. the, 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 those who inherit you will begin to suffer. Yes. Yes. That is why today we see a lot of parting within families. Some family you go inside is it's all about poverty. Yes. Mm. Not because rich. In the, in the, the family, everybody comes out of movement, not because they've done something, yeah. but somebody somewhere has one on oath, and within the sacrifice, yeah. they are sealing with poverty within yeah. the family. Yeah. So the boss have to continue. So people will be suffering poverty within the country. Others, it can be barren. Oh, mm. yes. Others, it can be barren. Oh, the woman true. will never have yes. babies. Not only barren. Yeah, they Other, it will be such sickness. Mm. And people will be suffering. Yes. They will ask themselves. That is why, you know, when you go to doctors today, they will begin to trace your family. Mm. They say it's a family inheritance. Very I, I can't find it in the right Oh, I can't find it in the right way. In the name of Jesus. Nothing, sickness is not inheritance. That's right. Sickness is something that has to be abolished within family. Yes. The inheritance is something that will prosper you. Mm. That's, that's something that will kill you. Yes. I'll destroy you. That is ancestral covenant. So many are going through things that they are not so, supposed to go suffering. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will begin to understand mm. the spiritual things. Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against people, things that we don't see. Listen, I said last Sunday.
And life is all about spiritual. Yes. Life is all about spiritual. Mm. Many are dying. Many are losing their life. Not because of something they've done, but because somebody somewhere, somebody in your family mm. have made an argument with somebody, either a deity mm. or an idol, but because they are wicked, they know tomorrow. They are spirit. Amen. Spirit don't die. Yes. Spirit live forever. Yes. Mm. But you can't drive them away from you mm. with the blood of Jesus. Amen. And you can protect yourself with the blood of Jesus. Amen. But they can never have access. That's right. So they will convince them and they will make, they will go. They will let you see that that is what is greater. Like, come to get gold. And after going and having a covenant, that gold will come for a while. Mm. And you will never see it again. Yes. And the, 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 the generation after you will be suffering. Mm. Tonight we are coming to pray about ancestral covenant and ancestral care. Yes. It has become cursed to many generations. And many generations are suffering because of a covenant mm. that an old man or a grandfather made within the family. But today, if you will begin to allow Christ in your life, if you will begin to see Jehovah as the ultimate fighter, or as the ultimate solution to that problem, you will begin to have your freedom. Amen. Man of God, can you read Joshua chapter 4, 24 and the verse 16? When the people of Israel begin to experience things that was awful, things that was not counted, difficult things, this thing, Joshua said before them, just to make a choice, not because Joshua didn't know but because the people have, 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 have left or they have turned their back to God and, 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 and they were suffering. But if you, my brother, my sister, will begin to look unto God, salvation, freedom, and liberty will be yours tonight in the name of Jesus. Can you read for us? Joshua, Joshua chapter 24. And the verse 15. The verse 15. To, and 15 downwards. downwards. And if it seems evil unto you, it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord. To serve the Lord, choose you this day. Choose you this day, whom you will serve, mm. whether the gods which your fathers said mm-hmm. that were on the other side of the flood. Listen, it says, choose ye the God. When the people of Israel came to a point, and Joshua saw that everything that they were doing was of evil. And the evil was killing and destroying them. Mm. And Joshua know his God, mm-hmm. that his God never fail. Yes. Neither his God never do. Mm. So he called unto them and asked them to choose what God they will serve. Either they are going to serve the God of their fathers, the same the, the God of their ancestors. Either they are going to worship the God of their ancestors. Mm. Who are the God of their ancestors? It is the idols, it is the deity that they swear to them, mm. that they make oaths oh, and, and, and still with blacks. Mm. That was what Joshua was asking them. Continue for us. It says, uh, it says that choose you this day whom you will serve. Amen. Whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, mm. or the gods of the Amorites. The gods of the Amorites. In whose land ye dwell. Mm-hmm. But as for me mm-hmm. and my house, Amen. we shall serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. But listen, tonight we are coming to pray. I don't know what God you are serving, and I don't know what you are going through. Mm-hmm. But I want you to de- and they shall declare to the people of Israel that choose ye the God that you will serve tonight. Mm-hmm. Rather, choose ye the God that you will serve tonight. Mm. Many have been talking about the God that we serve. Mm. But I want to let you know that He's a God that never fails. Mm. And He's a God that all power belongs to God. Oh, yeah. From the beginning of creation to now, He has never changed and He will never change. Mm. And it is not because of you that our God will change. Mm. Or, or somebody saying something that the Bible is not true, that will let our God change. Mm. It's still the same. The only thing is that just to believe mm. and just and also make a right choice. Right when choice. the Israelites were going through a lot, when they're going through what they were not supposed to 
to go through. Joshua came to them. Mm. And they also testified. When you read further, they knew what their forefathers were going through. Mm. And they also realized the difference when they were in Egypt and God through Moses delivered them. Mm. They saw the difference that the God that Joshua and Moses served is a God that they never failed. Yes. A faithful God. He said and it comes true. Mm. But their forefathers, God, were killing them, mm. destroying them. Mm. And punishing them with infecting them with sickness. Brother, maybe tonight you are going through something, a pattern that you can recollect of that your family tree have been going through. Mm-hmm. Tonight will come to an end. As we are going to pray, join us. You are joining us. Jehovah will give you freedom. Jehovah will set you free. Mm-hmm. God will give you freedom from that sickness. That sickness that has been a family sickness. Mm-hmm. I want to tell you that begin to deny it because mm-hmm. it is not supposed to be your portion. Mm. And begin to call Jehovah, the blood of Jesus, into your life tonight. Oh, and you will see that that sickness, that thing that the family is going through, Amen. that thing that the family has been going through long time, Amen. that poverty, sickness, barren, just count it. It's uncountable. It you know it. You know it. There are some families that can never be successful. You can go, go but you can never. I got the limit. Oh, yes. There are some families that set a limitation. Mm. Because of that covenant, there is a limitation within the family. Anybody who read there, either you die or you fall. Oh. Either you die or you fall. Mm. My brother, tonight God will let you pass. In the name of Jesus. So jump that limit. Amen. Because Christ is with you. Christ is with you. Because Christ has been, been your portion. Yes. So as I call. Man of God to come and lead us. Join mm. us in this prayer to break every ancestral covenant, ancestral case. Mm-hmm. That that is having a toll on our life. Oh Jesus. That, that is killing us, destroying us, delaying us, delaying our progress, taking mm. our joy. Mm. Let the joy of God be your strength tonight. Mm. As we come in to pray and with all, all your heart and your mind, join us. And you see the glory of God. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. It is for the
pray for the church. We pray that if there is any spiritual meeting going on in the name of Jesus, see at times you take it maybe it's mom or sister. Uh But we see that of a fire. If they have made it, they are trying to let fire. Let to jump fire. Let us jump
We pray that Father, if there is any spirit, any demon, any witch that have taken it upon itself, oh Jesus, to wrestle against the name of Jesus, like Jehoshaphat. This is my way to move. This way to move. This way.
Holy Spirit is his you that I come in the name of Jesus. Bring them and let's fellowship. In the name of Jesus. Let's assume the way of your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, lift up the prayer. Somebody lift up the prayer and pray. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.